you you've had a debate with James White on this very mm-hmm. topic on the question of uh, Molinism. I think it was on um, Unbelievable, if I'm not yes. mistaken, over a year ago. And you know, post debate when the settle, you know, the dust is settled and everything. Um, do you have any post debate thoughts on how that went? Anything that you think maybe he didn't pick up on anything that maybe he said about your arguments that you thought, Oh, well, that's a good point. Or yeah. My only reflection on that debate, I think was that James White didn't stick to the topic. The topic was the problem of evil Mm -hmm. from a Molinist and Calvinist perspective. And I said to Justin Brierley before going on, uh, agreeing to do this interview, I said, I do not want to debate Calvinism versus Molinism. Mm. Uh, I will debate our respective views of the problem of evil to see, given the truth of Calvinism, given the truth of Molinism, which one has a more plausible account of the evil and suffering in the world. That was supposed to be the debate. You weren't supposed to challenge the truth of the other person's view. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to assume the truth of that view and then ask whether or not a plausible account of evil and suffering issues from that view. And my argument was that given Calvinism, uh, there is no plausible account of evil and and suffering uh, in the world because it makes God the author of evil. Uh, It makes God the author of moral evil um, and of damning people to eternal destruction, uh, which is morally unconscionable and inconsistent with his moral perfection. So that was my only reflection was that I I think White uh, didn't stick to the topic, but wanted to have a debate on Molinism and Calvinism. And the irony of that turned out to be that although he was so insistent on biblical exegesis and foundations, his main objection to Molinism was philosophical. Mm. He was uh, offering the grounding objection that I I spoke of before. So it was rather ironic that the person who claimed to take his stand on biblical grounds was, in fact, offering philosophical objections to the opposing point of view. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. See you next time. God bless.